Welcome back to Paul W. Smith's virtual Mackinac Island broadcast on WJR. This morning, sponsored by Starline Mackinac Island Ferry, where your Mackinac Island adventure begins. Get discount tickets and vacation packages at MackinawFerry.com. Once again, Paul W. Smith. And uh, nice to be with you both uh, online on our various social media platforms. You can watch us and hear us as well as hear us the good old-fashioned way on 760 on the AM dial WJR. Take us along wherever you are, wherever you go. We're having a little uh, difficulty with the island cam that we have uh, set up, he said facetiously, uh, that we have set up to get to Mr. Tim High who is the gentleman in charge of the Mackinac Island uh, big doings. He is the Mackinac Island Tourism Bureau Executive Director. Uh, Tim High is an all-around good guy and former member of the WJR staff, so he's an alum of WJR. And Mackinac, Mackinac Island Tourism has announced that the official opening of the island's high season will be celebrated to coincide with the first day of summer. A majority of the island's businesses will be open to welcome guests this weekend, June 19th, for fun in the sun and relaxation and all the wonderful things that make Mackinac Island so very special for every Michigander with great pride and for people who come from around the world to see this incredible island where no motor vehicles are allowed, where fudge is everywhere, and good times uh, as well with some wonderful things to do on this great Mackinac Island. And it appears that the weather is going to cooperate beautifully for this coming weekend, which includes Father's Day, which includes the official opening for the 134th season of Grand Hotel. And I just spoke with Kenny Hayward yesterday, and they have rooms available. So you can be there for the official opening ceremonies. And, uh, and they're special. The opening and closing ceremonies on, on the uh, hotel porch, uh, always a very special event. Additionally, Mackinac State Historic Parks will open all attractions on the island for visitors, uh, including Fort Mackinac, Mission Church, uh, mentioned the Grand Hotel, uh, welcoming guests on the Sunday. And uh, let's see, Mission Point Resort will be open on Thursday. Uh, the Mackinac Island Tourism members continue to follow the directive set forth by federal, state, and local health authorities to curb the spread of COVID-19. Such measures include uh, uh, proliferating and wearing masks. I guess that means spreading them around, proliferating. And insta installation of a bunch of uh, public hand sanitizer stations, and also the gentleman who just popped up on your screen and is about to be on the air with us is, in fact, Mr. Tim High, who I've been dancing around waiting for, and I'm glad that, that he's here. You see, they say it's easy, uh, Tim, but I, I feel your pain. I've gone through that. Sometimes it's taken 45 minutes to get on this easy connection. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that was a world-class vamp. Hey, uh, good morning and uh, congratulations. This is it. This coming weekend is it. The opening of beautiful Mackinac Island. Well, we've been opening slowly, as you know, one page at a time. And uh, we still have some more to open. The Grand Hotel opens on the 21st of June and uh, Mission Point on the 25th. And we are going to celebrate the kickoff to summer this weekend. Excellent, and and a nice uh, a nice way to spend uh, Father's Day for uh, this weekend and the official start of summer, and uh, and everything else going on. I have to tell you, I don't want to put you on the, on the hot seat, but we are getting people asking about that uh, world class stone skipping, <laughs> not just we, because I bring it up. We had a world class development yesterday too. Oh, but this I will be new information for all of us. Yes, but I can't announce it yet. Oh, how's that for a world class tease? Yeah, it's a world class tease, man. Well, let me let me ask a broader question. Without your specifics, are we going to have stone skipping on the Fourth of July 
traditionally, we have the national and international champions of stone skipping. <laughs> Will that be happening on the 4th of July on Mackinac Island? We are going to do it, and we will announce the network that it's going to air on. Well, you tomorrow. don't have to. Uh, well, whenever. I mean, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Just as long as we know it's going to happen, and people will be able to either be yeah. there and enjoy it or tune in and uh, and enjoy it. Meanwhile, uh, talk to me. What You know, a lot has gone into this, and we've talked to various people. Bobby uh, Benser, for example, with uh, his Murdoch's Fudge, and they're doing a special through the 21st, offering people uh, uh, some extra special deals and some of that uh, Traverse City cherry fudge, a little extra special. He knows I like cherries. Um, but tell me what else is going on. I know some police places have opened up slowly, but the official grand opening has been designated this weekend. At least that's what I've been led to believe. Absolutely. We are very proud of all of our members. We started a, a public health task force the first week of March so that we could tackle the best that we can this situation that we were given with COVID-19. And um, our members have gone to great lengths to do everything they can to mitigate the, the spread of COVID-19 and make the safest experience that people can have on the island. There's going to be, I already mentioned that, that everyone's going to be using the personal protection equipment, but, but you're actually asking visitors to bring their own if they have it. Well, sure. It's, it's called a PPP or BYOPPP. And uh, if people can bring their own hand sanitizer, that's just very convenient for them. And if they could wear their masks anytime they're in a building, that's the state law at this point with the executive order. So we asked that they do that on the island. It's so hard not to, uh, or so hard to forget about it sometimes because you're on vacation and you're in a different mode. But we asked that they do that just to, to keep people around them safe. And then social distancing is also very important, especially on the island. You know, uh, Tim, uh, you can't pull anything off on our uh, 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 our listeners. Uh, Clay has uh, written in, wow, I flew to Mackinac Island very quickly from the opening of the show till right now. That was a supersonic uh, flight to get there with you as we are featuring virtually Mackinac Island. And we've got more coming up. It's all sponsored by Starline, Mackinac Island Hydrojet Ferry, and talk about their pirate boat. You can go to... Uh, MackinawFerry.com for their information. And Mr. Tim High, throughout the season, we'll call upon you for help as well along the way. Cannot wait to see you. Now that it took all this time for you to get hooked up on this, I, sus I suspect you should call all of your friends and do this uh, stream yard with them just to show them that you got the hookup. Uh, they won't mind you're waking them up at 6.31 in the morning uh, very much. Yeah. All right, Timmy, see you soon. Can't wait to see you, Paul. He's the head of tourism on Mackinac Island, Tim High. Used to work here at WJR till he got a real job. It is uh, 631. We're running behind, but that's to be expected when you're running behind. This report is sponsored by the Michigan Health and Hospital Association. If you have Michigan Auto Insurance, big changes are coming to your medical coverage as of July 1st. Learn how to stay safe with full protection at driveprotected.org. Funded by the Michigan Health and Hospital Association. There's no truth to the rumor that Eric, the voice Steiner, uh, is holding out for a bigger contract uh, to uh, to host the stone skipping. I'm merely his co-host. He's the expert. Eric, the voice Steiner. Uh, We're checking our WJR traffic and weather first. Rich Lozinski is checking in. The I-94 westbound ramp to Ross is closed due to construction until noon tomorrow, and your right two lanes are closed on 8 Mile eastbound between Gratiot Avenue and I-94 for